You know, I want to talk about this Laura Cleary <laughs> video. Three centimeters, 100% effaced, and my f***ing water broke. No! So I hate this video because I think it represents doulas in a really bad way. Bottom line is she had a bad doula. Well, that is true. <laughs> but, you know, I mean, we know plenty of good doulas. Right. And there are some bad doulas. Yeah. And I talk about, as an outsider, my observation for the past few years, there is no single organization makes you accountable. Right. There is no single certification process. Mm -hmm. There, it's anything from a few weeks to months to weekend yep. course or something. Yep. And then you can have a fancy website yep. and charge good amount of money not versus somebody who's yep. legit, no website and then maybe a lot less and be an amazing doula. Right. So in this video, this particular doula said, mm -hmm. this, sh the patient is 36 weeks and few days, yep. ruptured membrane, mm -hmm. 18 hours, she mentioned she probably longer. She doesn't know, really. And the doula says, what did she say? Castor oil and echinacea and yeah. probiotic. So she's kind of like, we need to get this baby out. Couple After bells. 18 hours, She's at risk for infection. So okay, she's not. Let me just tell you something. I want you to take um, echinacea, probiotic. Yeah. So, I, I mean, I think the first issue is just the energy that the mm -hmm. duel is giving off. She calls She sounded her, like she was 18. <laughs> yeah. Well, she injects this, like, feeling of panic. And then she did the test, and the test showed that my water broke. So, like, right. Because she... She calls her and says, this is what's going on. And the doula just starts by an expletive. Like, mm -hmm. I don't want to get, you know, censored here, but she starts with an expletive. And already that's setting, like, the conversation off on the wrong foot. Like, she's injecting her emotions into this. Where, who knows, maybe this Laura woman is excited. She's like, hey, I'm three centimeters. and yeah. Which we know from the video that she's not. But the doula doesn't know that because she's just answering the phone and hearing this. So she's already setting the tone for the conversation. And then she's telling her, the do Laura is saying, my doctor says that I am at a, the baby's at an increased risk for infection. And the doula says, well, she's not. That's not true. So she's actively telling her that her doctor's wrong, giving her misinformation, which we know is, is not true. After your, your membranes release, that rate of infection does start to increase after a certain period of time. And then she's telling her she doesn't have to go to the hospital. She's then telling her to take an echinacea probiotic, which is, you know, as a doula, I'm never going to tell anyone to take any medication. And then telling her to induce with castor oil, which we know is, is not without risk. The castor oil sounds kind of awful to me, too. I heard you get yeah. really sick. I mean, you just diarrhea your brains out. But... Um... And then you diarrhea and your baby comes out. Mm -hmm. um, that sounds like a horrific birth. <laughs> I just want to know how, through what, she got certified and if she's gotten a lot more clients because of this video. Yeah, hopefully right? not. Hopefully not. But, um, I mean, that is like an extremely bad mm -hmm. scenario. Yeah. And I don't think I've, mm -hmm. I've had... My overall experience with doula is very positive, mm -hmm. other than a few bad ones. But even those bad ones, it wasn't this bad. Yeah. This no. is like off the chart bad. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think the big PSA from this is if your doula is telling you to go against medical advice and your doula is giving you instructions to take any sort of medication or anything like that in direct conflict with what your doctor is saying, you don't have a good doula. You need to find someone else because... That's out of scope. We are non-medical.